means that the Cowboys are going to get the football back with just under two minutes to, and the opportunity to drive and score a touchdown to win the game. No, you're exactly right. They, they came with the pressure. They came with a five-man rush, just five players, but they did get to kit. I don't know if the ball got tipped, but it sure came out of its hand funny. Here's the punt. Harris gets it deep off to Creighton's left, and it goes out of bounds. Let's and see where this one goes. Somewhere. I think it's uh, up around the 20, exactly. I think. No, it's going to be at the 17. So it's going to be uh, 83 yards. It's a 46-yard punt out of bounds. And so now... Mr. Number Two offense in the league. Now you got a, you got your work cut out for you. Well, again, Cowboys have not scored under 24 all season long. 24 being their low number. If they can get to 28. They get the win. Yep. What do you think? Be interesting though. And you go through all these scenarios. Just, I mean, training camp and Friday practice typically is that two-minute offense when you run it, and you say, okay, we got 215. We've got no timeouts. We've got to go 83 yards. Here's what you practice. Lions are trying to stay alive in the playoff race. Dallas is trying to win the East and avoid talk of another December collapse. Shotgun on first down to Romo from the 17. Drops it in the left flat. Barber 20. Makes a man miss. Gets to the 23. 207, 206. A gain of about six and a half. And we have reached the two-minute warning with Detroit leading Dallas 27-21. The border. So here it is. Again, you didn't think rationally that Dallas would go 15-1. and one, but, but you also rationally didn't think that Detroit, working on a four-game losing streak, and playing <laughs> badly. Yeah. And playing badly. Hey, strange things have happened with Detroit. Well, we'll go back to, at least to my memory, the, you know, 91 season where Eric right. Kramer goes crazy, knocks Cowboys out of the playoffs. And, uh, Dallas just has to have a touchdown to win. They are all. second and four at the 23 with two minutes left and no timeouts. And now the crowd's excited. Romo's back to throw, pressured, throws the ball out, incomplete at the 35. Heard diving for it, and I thought it was going to be intercepted for a minute. It's second down. By the way, you're in four-down territory. We're going to pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Dallas Cowboys radio network. KTBN, Halton City, Dallas, Fort Worth, Accumula Station. Mornings with Cindy Skull and Robert Miguel. Dallas Cowboys football, 93-3. I think I did, if I said second down, I was in error again. It's third down. Third it's and effectively four. second down because they're going to go for it on fourth. That's so let's right. look at it that way. That's right. <laughs> third and four. Boy, this crowd's and excited. And now they realize they're at a football game. It's almost over. <laughs> third and four. Snap to Romo. Over the middle, Witten at the 29, 30, broke a tackle, first down, 36. Tick-tock, tick-tock. 13 more for Witten, who's, who's had a 100-yard day. He's going to have a 1,000-yard year. The Cowboys have never had a 1,000-yard tight end. First and 10 at the 36, Romo's back. Time, wings it right, high for Witten, caught it at the 40 and stopped out of bounds. He may, he may set a Cowboys receiving tight end record for a season in a game. <laughs> he, What's he got, just, now, Bob? I can't even look. I, what do I got? 12? 12 for 112. Oh, oh 13 for 117. Uh, uh, excuse me, Aromo's number's up to date. Okay, he was 28 out of 26 coming into this possession. He's out now 30 of 37. 20, 28 out of 36, for, so 29 of 37. Yeah. A minute 31, second and six at the Dallas 40. Touchdown wins the game. Snap to Romo, second down. Whips it right. Caught Owens. Oh, drop. Oh, drop. On his right hip in the crook of his arm. He ran away from the ball. Got to catch that ball. Boy, just a little bit behind him. But don't you I, think I he's got to catch it anyway? I know Romo wants it caught, and I know coming in on that slant. Oh, that's a drop. That's a, it's a tough catch. We just looked at a replay. It's about a half a step behind yeah. him, but it's in the crook of his arm. It is a little tough, but you got to catch it. Third and six at the Dallas 40. So Romo's going to say, you know, I've been throwing to Witten all day. He hasn't let me down. I'm going to go back to him here. Minute 28 in the game. No timeouts. And Rod Marinelli saying, somebody cover 82. Snap to Romo. Protected. Runs up out of the middle. Fumble the ball. And the Lions kick it around. And the Cowboys get it back at the 40. It'll be fourth and six. The Lions had the ball. And Kyle Kozar, the former Lions. Well, that's, excuse me, Brad. That's going to be that, that fourth down, final two minutes of the game. They can't kick it forward. I don't know where it ended up, but only the recovering, only the fumbling player can recover that football. Here's the fourth down play. This is the game. 
Snap to Romo on fourth down. Throws it left, Barber. 45 midfield, first down to the Detroit 47. 50 seconds. How about Barber? See if he clocks it here. Romo clocks it to kill the clock with 43 seconds. 13 on that pass to Barber. Now the flag and now comes there's out. a flag. Yeah, the Lions were trying to run personnel out on the field there. Christy? No, actually, I think that it was uh, number 91, Alama Francis, who didn't get off in time. They may have had too many men on the field there, guys. Yeah, so they're yeah. trying to run them on, which means they got to try to run them off. Yeah, they were trying. There was about 14 Lions on the field, I believe. I want to get back to that fumble. 12 men on defense, five-yard penalty. It's still first down. Get back to the fumble, please. The fumble by Romo in, on fourth down or in the last two minutes of the half. Only the fumbling player can advance it. So in other words, if wherever Romo fumbled it from, wherever Romo fumbled it from, he either has to be the one to recover the fumble. But does so the fact Columbus that the Lions player kicked it? Never got possession. Change no. that. Never got possession. But anyway, it must have went. It's first it and five backwards. at the Detroit 42 with 43 seconds remaining. No timeouts. Snap to Romo. Little pressure. Flushed out right. Pumps. Drops it to Witten. And at the 40. And getting out of bounds at the 36-yard line with a first down. 34 seconds left. I think we're going to have to talk to Witten anyway. <laughs> 14 for 122. He may be too tired. There's... there's tight ends out there oh. in the NFL say, I haven't caught 14 passes all year. No one wants to win this game right now more than Jason Witten. Because After that, of that fumble, fumble at yeah. the goal line. First and 10 at the Detroit 36. 34 seconds. No timeouts. Dallas down by six points. Shotgun snap to Romo. Lots of time. Whips it down the right side for Hurd, and he caught it and went out of bounds at the 20. 28 seconds remaining. A gain of 16 for Sam Hurd. And boy, what a great throw by Romo. Hurd has tight coverage on there. He's just running an out route. Tremendous throw. Babe, Jason Witten's broken a Cowboys record for receptions in a game. No player and never it. caught more than 13. Lance Rensel in 1967. Witten's got 14 at the 20 with 28 seconds. Dallas down six. Snap to Romo. Oh, no, 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 no. Time. What happened? Boy, that side judge came sprinting in, Did didn't he? he? Well, it wasn't the Cowboys calling a timeout because they don't have one. Right. <laughs> the previous play is going to be reviewed. Oh, okay. Upstairs wants to see if Sam Hurd controlled the ball, I guess. Quite and honestly, I didn't look at it from that angle. He was going away from us. Now, we're looking at a replay now. He seems to have the ball. He's got both plenty of room. Oh, he's got it. There's no problem with that, is yeah. there? You see nope. anything wrong there? Nope, I did not. I see it as a, as a reception. I don't think it's a bad thing if there's any doubt. Sure. To say, hey, well, let's just take a look and make sure. But, but from what I saw and we saw, I can't imagine this one being overturned. Right foot down, left foot down, ball in possession. There's absolutely Crowd no seems question. to be reacting. Now, he put it in his right hand, but he never lost control of the football. So, I mean, if you look back to that New England touchdown against Baltimore Ooh. on Monday night <laughs> where there's separation, yeah, the ball's yeah. moving. This is so much clearer a catch than that. Again, Jason Witten's caught 14 passes for 127 yards. No Cowboy receiver in their history had ever caught more than 13 in a game. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. A completed catch. Thank you. Lance Rensel caught 13 against the Washington Redskins in November of 1967. And Jason Witten has eclipsed that today. And he feels worse than anybody on the field because he fumbled the ball at the one-yard line on the last possession. But now with 28 seconds, it's first and 10 at the Detroit 20. Dallas has moved it from its own 17. Romo in the gun. This has been without any timeouts. Romo back. Good protection. Flips it to Barber. Right flat 20. 15 gets out of bounds. Actually at the 16-yard line. Smart play by Barber, who has scored three touchdowns today. 22 seconds. Second and six. 
Wait, go back to last year's game with Detroit. Now, the Cowboys were down eight in it, but remember, it was fourth and six at the Detroit six. Last play of the game, Romo scrambled up field, got, got stopped short at the two-yard line. Game over. He's got to be thinking, Ooh, that, that game has to be popping up in Romo's mind right now. Second and six, 22 seconds at the Detroit 16. Shotgun again, snap to Romo. Play fake, throws it in the end zone. Jason Witten caught it for a touchdown to the post with 18 seconds left. Fitting for Witten to be the man who makes that catch. An extra point away from Dallas leading for the first time today. What a job of quarterbacking your team from the 17-yard line with no timeouts. There it is. You, you called it, Brad. Cowboys took over this ball and went 83 yards. They had 215 to do it. And look at that. They left 18 on the clock. And again, Sean Rogers, the defensive tackle for Detroit. He's blocked 11 kicks. Folk for the all-important extra point. And the kick is good. And Dallas leads for the first time today, 28-27. With that touchdown, Washington Mutual has donated another $500 to the boys and girls clubs of the greater Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I don't care what happens in the next 18 seconds, today's supersonic player of the game is Jason Witten, who receives a $250 My Sonic card and Sonic donates $250 to Happy Hill Farm in his name. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Wow, well, this game was just a testament to hanging in there and keep on battling and it's not looking real good for you? By the way, don't say was yet. 18 yeah. seconds and Jason Hansen is now the guy with an opportunity yeah. to redeem himself. <laughs> and Detroit That's... has all three timeouts. The David McDavid scoring drive, 83 yards in 11 plays in a minute 57. David McDavid Honda, log on now to mcdavid.com for the largest selection of new Hondas in the Metroplex. Well, we said the Cowboys had not been held under 24 all year. They were sitting at 21. They're now sitting at 28 with a one-point lead. Brandon Middleton.